Imagine that while you are the president and uh, the owner of the Liberty, as a part owner of the Liberty, uh, that you are going to be asked in some way, shape, or form probably to get involved in trying to lure free agents back here. Do you think that could be a role for you? Boomer, I am with the New York Liberty. <laughs> and and I know you said you can imagine that I I can't I can't answer questions off of your imagination. No, that's a, my partner, either, by the way. I have a talk talk with him every day. <laughs> Especially when he starts talking hockey, because uh, I'm going to be interested. I want to be totally transparent here. You know, this morning I came in here. And, 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 I, and I hope you know, Boomer, since I've been here, I've been, been here. And my my time in New York, I've been totally transparent. Also, I know, so. but I know. But here's the point: I just want you to know where I'm coming from. You know, I, I and you know my love of New York Ranger hockey and my and my love of the Knicks. I got a hockey playoff game tonight, and then lo and behold, you get hired by the Knicks at the Liberty. Uh, yes, yeah, so, which is great. And I'm happy for you, for you personally. Yeah, I'm happy for you. But as a Nick fan, you know, I sit here and I scratch my head, and I just want you to know that I'm being honest with you that I don't want to like sugarcoat anything that I, I it really makes me wonder why why Jim would bring you back put you in the same building essentially as Phil Jackson and then expect that this isn't going to be in some way shape or form looked at and and, crit and, and you know, with a critical eye and be criticized hello I'm, I'm here, I'm, so oh. I'm, but, uh, I'm, waiting I just wanted to let you I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the question. Well, I, you know, my, my point being is that <laughs> you would expect, you would expect that it's going to, that people are going to be critical, whether it be in the newspapers or on sports talk radio, fans calling in. We've had about 10 calls this morning and, 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 and to be totally honest, not one person gets this whole thing. I get it. Uh, why do you, well, I, here, God. here's what I'll say. We're talking about the, the New York Liberty, and I and I would say to to all to all fans, uh, people who are interested, come out and watch the Liberty play because Boomer, well, our game has changed. Um, at, at one point in time, uh, when you look at uh, the 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 view and I for for basketball, uh, the last twenty years it's been about the dunk. Uh, Michael Jordan had a had a huge impact on the game of basketball and you know the the women's game i think, think was viewed through that lens it was viewed through a lens that you had to be athletic you had to jump over the rim for people to come watch you play that has changed now the game is back to the basics it's back to the fundamentals it's back to passing catching and shooting steph curry was the MVP of the NBA because he's a shot maker, not a very athletic dunker that gets over the rim and does all these high flying dunks. Well, that is the women's game. The women's game is about passing, cutting, shooting, fundamentals. So if we can describe the men's game with that type of beauty, we should also give credit and describe the women's game with that type of beauty also. And even because more, they have changed. And even more importantly, the Knicks should watch the Liberty play if they pass. Uh, right. And, 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 as and, long as the team. Time, you know, the interesting thing, Isaiah, there's only been one person here in the studio that's actually been to a Liberty game, and that was me. Oh, here we go. Is that that yeah. could have curry favor to him at the end of the interview? Well, maybe some free tickets. I don't know. Maybe I want to sit on the sideline with Spike Lee. Two more minutes with Isaiah here. He's now back with the New York Liberty. Of course, many people think it's uh, a ruse. I'm saying what people think is. And I'm, only, and I'm sad that it's only two more. Well, I'll make it five then. <laughs> we're definitely going to have to come back and do some more with you guys. You're going to have to come in studio. Because, Boom, I got to get you straight. I mean, you, you, your imagination and you're wondering a lot. I, you know, we got we to gotta help you with that. Isaiah, I'm a New Yorker. I'm, an, I'm a Knicks fan. All I want is the Knicks to go win a championship. I want them to play in the playoffs. I want them to be as good as my Rangers are. And it's been nothing but an unmitigated disaster the last 20 years. It's been brutal, and, and I can't. I, I don't know how to say it any more than that. And I want to be honest because I, I love you as a basketball player. I think you are one of the ultimate competitors in the NBA, and I think that's why all these players have a, a really healthy respect for who you are. And that's sure. why they want to listen to you. And if you sat here and you told me, okay, I'm the president and I'm the part owner of the Liberty, but I'm going to help the Knicks lure free agents here because Jim Doman knows that I have street cred with the guys that are out there and, and will listen to me and I can get to them, I would say, okay, that's transparent. That's